Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. We just want to thank everybody that's been supporting us over at Patreon. You guys are helping to push back the darkness as it tries to encroach in everybody's life. And, and, and it's really getting worse lately, too. I mean, we've heard more and more complaints about people not being able to get their material up because it doesn't follow mainstream. Yeah, and it's it's so obvious, too. But let's let some of the uh, influencers and prominent people just give you their take in their own words. This is Dennis Meadows, and he's a prominent Club of Rome member, uh, as well as other groups like The Few. And this is just basically his take on things. Uh oh. Wait a oh, where'd your sound go? Where did the sound go? Huh. Hang on a That's second, weird. guys. This was just working. Yeah. Supposed to be working. It's supposed to be working. It's weird, but it's not weird. Let's see. It's. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is the type of thing they do all the time. There we go. Let's see. Here we go. No. No. Are there we far, go. Okay. We are so far above the population and the consumption levels, which can be supported by this planet, that I know in one way or another it's going to come back down. So I don't hope to avoid that. Uh, I hope that it can occur in a, a, a civil way. I, 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 and I mean civil in a, in a special way. I, peaceful. Peace doesn't mean uh, that everybody's happy, but it means that conflict isn't solved through violence, through, through force, uh, but rather in other ways. And so uh, that's what I hope for, um, that we can, I mean, the planet can support something like a billion people maybe two billion, depending on how much liberty and how much material consumption you want to, to have. If you want more liberty and more consumption, you have to have fewer people. And conversely, you can have more people. I mean, we could even have eight or nine billion, probably, if we have a very strong dictatorship, which is smart. That's, unfortunately, you never have smart dictatorships. They're always stupid. So, but if you had a smart dictatorship, and a low standard of living, you can have it. But, it, but we want to have freedom and we want to have a high sentence. So we're going to have a billion people. And we're now at seven, so we have to get back down. I hope that this can be slow, relatively slow, and that it can be done in a way which is relatively equal, uh, you know, so that people share uh, the experience and you don't have a few rich, you know, trying to force everybody else to, to deal with it. So those are my hopes. I mean. These are pretty pessimistic hopes, you know, but um, that's, that's what lies ahead. That was their own words. And again, you know, <laughs> planet could support something like maybe a billion, you know, and again, uh, that book going back to 1990-ish, uh, I want to say, the Council of 300, that's what the number they gave, of course, the, the Georgia stones uh said 500 million but it, it's typically in the same range so you know they're listening to the same people talk they're they they have the same speeches uh that they're all and again this these are just different tentacles so to speak of the same uh monster the same hydra the club of rome is one and of course the few is another and trilateral commission and it goes on and on and on you know, this is just par for the course, as you see. So, you know, by 86% of the population is excess, according, uh, again, to, to that perspective. So it should really not be anything that surprises us, because, you know, that's what he said. And he's not the only one. Defending Sadiq Khan. Yeah. This is, this is a I've problem. agreed with him twice running. Last night about pollution. He's bang on about pollution. Ever since I got air purifiers in my house, I'm a different beast. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's transformed my health. Mm -hmm. Just living in a very polluted area in London, 
And now with air purifiers, don't go out when the air's bad and, and I feel great. And I tell everyone who's out there who's got problems with red eyes, streaming, sinus, all that stuff you think may be hay fever, I bet it's pollution. Yeah, yeah. So again, you know, you, you go out when you look and your phone says you could go out. And here we have the WHO, CDC, and many others. You know, there's, there's this feeling out there. It's coming from so many places. Uh, as you can see, these uh, tweets here, InfoWars, you know, that group and all. Now, I, I do think AJ is part of the system. And again, it's a controlled um, opposition type thing. And, you know, they, you know, I, I still think there is some truth to the possibility that, you know, he's one in the same with that famous comedian that disappeared. But again, they're all actors. They're all actors. So what are we getting now is, well, now we're getting that there's stuff coming and you're going to have to go back to the, the same things we were seeing at the very peak of the plague upon the land. And, you know, this is from the UK, and it's also buzzing through uh, the US, and, you know, it'll be a, a global situation again. But every place is so different. You know, in Nevada, we didn't see too much. Well, we crossed into Arizona, and, and if you were in a big city in Arizona, it felt, you know, it felt pretty uh, totalitarian. At least that was our experience. But then we went to the little towns, the little, you know, uh, places with only a couple thousand people. And nobody paid attention. Cross the border into New Mexico. It felt like I was going into the Third Reich. And then into Texas. And it was like, it was something happening? I don't know. Everything seems normal. Right. So it just goes to show that we really can set the pace where we're at. We can when we do have the ability to <clears throat> to navigate through these rules. And we are the ones who, who kind of set everything. It's like if everyone falls into line, then everyone falls into line. But we are a free being. You know, we need to uh, look at things a little bit closer and ask a few more questions to the right people. And I was listening to that that first guy we were listening to and my gosh you know what he was ultimately saying is oh i hope everyone has a, a peaceful death that's what he's saying it's horrible yeah i wasn't gonna go there but Sorry. you know you could interpret it as you will that's exactly you know the way some people would interpret it and you know uh, as you heard that little sound in the background that's them tapping in yeah absolutely of course they monitor everything everything is monitored so, you know, mid-September, somewhere in that area, there, there's this buzz that we're going to be heading back into a L-O-C-K down, you know, type of world and type of mentality. We have the eclipse in October. We have the other eclipse in April. Um, you know, I, I didn't watch, but I saw a couple comments about um, David uh, Divine and Dap 2030 and Ransom having a show that was a must watch. I, I don't know what they were covering, but I do know that David had a guy on, it might have been even Ransom, uh, a few months back, and he was just saying uh, that per particular person, it's not our thought, but we are getting close there, was, was basically giving the thought that, hey, where you are, you are. Make the best of it because it's, it's almost too late to, to make changes. I don't think it's the case. I think we could still make changes. Of course, we, you know, we put our positive intents out uh, as much as possible. And, you know, we, we do what we can do. We gather the things we can gather. Again, we have shared with you guys that, you know, back around fir first part of December, the ending of November last year, the guides gave us several things. And again, for anybody new, tuning in saying the guides what what guides spirit guides you mean yeah spirit guides yeah you know, we we spend hours typically uh a day in a spiritual practice it's just part of who we are you know it's just part of our way so every day we do meditation mantras qigong yoga this is the center point of our existence and, you know, we get information uh, that comes from 
elsewhere. And, you know, that comes from multiple sources. But see, this is the thing. They want you to believe just them. So this is why they cause that whole idea and phobia that, well, if you're not listening to the official sources, it's all devils and demons, when the devils and demons are the official sources. That's becoming pretty apparent in this world. And, and yeah, we could still have our indoctrinations that we, we just simply can't face the fact, perhaps, that, you know, uh, these aspects of our lives have been given to us and they're not accurate. They're just simply not accurate. In the higher ages, we all can communicate telepathically. It, you know, there's CIA, there's old KGB studies, F FBI studies that show this is something the governments understand totally clearly. This is why they put fluoride in your in your water. This this is why, you know, all those MEDSs are out there. Yeah, it's all to dumb down humanity, to, to lower the inherent abilities humans have, to keep humans as a, as a good, good sheep, as a good piece of the flock. Yeah, and again, what does the shepherd ultimately do with the flock? Ask yourself that when, when you start you know, looking for uh, you know, my shepherd. That whole concept has been given to you so that you view yourself as a flock. This is part of the big reveal, and it could be very, very uncomfortable to, to recognize that, well, that means my parents were wrong, my grandparents were wrong. Yes, the whole world has been deceived. Absolutely. You know, this is part of that big reveal. So again, we want to move towards being as self-sufficient as possible. And what we got from the guides back towards the end of last November, early December, was you have about one year. And then at that point, you know, you're going to probably going to be faced with situations where we might be stuck for a while wherever we are. Certainly, in wartime, people are stuck. You can't move about freely. You know, obviously, when there's shooting going on, tanks in the streets, all that type of stuff... Uh, moving freely is just something that doesn't happen. And when there's plagues upon the land, the same thing can be uh, occurring. So do what you can, you know, grow what you can. There are amazing hydroponic systems. You don't even have to uh, import tons of soil. And, and there are people that are so creative to make things out of nothing, like our brother David in the UK, who is a very, very... Um, he's a man that's amazingly industrious, living in a flat, and, you know, he's now, because of the power of manifestation and his intent to help others, because he's really doing this not just to feed himself, but to feed others, uh, he, he ended up acquiring uh, usage of a piece of land, and he's growing tons of food on it, and, and this is one of those people that probably could feed a hundred people comfortably. <laughs> And there's going to be a need for people like that out there. This is what we're trying to get across. Uh, people over here in, in Hawaii, in this particular area, are starting to realize, well, we're not going to get any help from higher uh, sources, per se. And those higher sources are, are really lower sources as far as their frequency range. No, it's going to be each other. We have to help each other. That's, that's the only thing. It, it's just working together. As you, know, you see, it's just devastation over there. It looks like a war zone. And, and it's going to look more like a futuristic war zone where you're also going to be wondering, what could do this? It's not quite a you know, conventional explosive. It certainly doesn't look like a natural forest fire. We know, we understand this, and and all the all the reading is out there for you. You you don't have to really go far. Directed energy, harnessing the power of lasers for twenty first century. Yeah. Oh, is that just a, a CONS piracy theory? Then why did they do this article over at Lockheed Martin, talking about their capabilities and how they are harnessing this? Yeah, anything they show you, we already have. We have had it for a very long time. You know, and over here, uh, I'll give you guys all the links, as long as we're able to get this up. 
You know, this is somebody that's saying that people are being told, uh, just listen to the official sources. Don't look at uh, mass media. Don't listen to what, you know, people are saying is happening. Uh, You know, just, again, be a good little sheep and just follow the herd. Mm -hmm. You know, and and just that whole concept about uh, the shepherd and the sheep, and they spend an enormous amount of time, money, and effort to get people afraid of the wolves when ultimately, yes, it is the shepherd that eats them. It's the shepherd that eats them. And this has been done since uh, all of our lives, really. So, yeah, it is really hard to change that concept. And then those who are in power that can do something, I don't see them doing anything. What they're doing is they're jockeying for positions so that they can have what they want for themselves and so that they can have things their way, ultimately, in a a control a form of control that (laughs) gives them more control and they'll do whatever they have to do to get it and it's so sad because to them this is their line of thinking the ends justify the means so when they see all of this death and devastation they just really shrug it off i mean some of those most famous people that have been on tv for eons and eons and eons with supposedly nice personalities are the ones who are looking at this devastation going, eh, well, you know, it's going to benefit me. It needed to happen. And they really don't care what's happened to people out there. And I know it's really hard. It's a really difficult concept to swallow and to accept because you want to, you're going to feel the anger and the rage and the disgust. And then you start thinking, well, what can I do? I'm, I'm just me. Never underestimate the power of your own energy to dissolve them. Yeah, here you go. Uh, This is an official from Trudeau's uh, area and cabinet. She's laser focused on the devastating wildfires up in the Northwest Territories. Isn't that interesting? Biden is laser focused. She's laser focused. You go back to that first thing we're playing. Remember, we were saying how they, they all listen to the same thing when they have their meetings. They hear words. They hear her terminology. Uh, they get the plans and then they go and it's just human nature to use some of the same words that you heard Uh uh-huh and you know this is strange looking ash i have no clue what it is but you know gosh it almost it looks metallic doesn't it yeah it it looks like so is it uh, you know and again then we get people that will think this is just a natural volcanic eruption yeah, they could be triggering some volcanism, but, you know, again, they want to place the blame on anything natural, right? Climate change. It's climate change. Y- yeah, nope. Then we're falling into the same thing again. This this is how they catch us. They get us here. They get us there. They understand people. Some people are going to, you know, recognize these cycles. Uh, and again, when we were doing videos... And this, by the way, is a prayer meditation mantra to remove the darkness that oppresses us in a kind of generic um, form. We put this one out like two years ago, and actually I think I put it on EE Arts first three years ago. You know, again, just asking to remove the darkness, remove the darkness, the dark control grid. We don't accept them. We don't recognize them. No, they don't want us saying those things because they understand This matrix responds to conscious intent. This is why they give you, oh, but see, the Bible's happening right in front of our very eyes. Look back at the actual prophecies and see how detailed they are. Look at the prophecies of some other people and see how detailed they are. You'll find that the Bible is not very detailed. It's very, very generic. Um, And again, you know, things like the book of Daniel was was probably not penned until at, way after even some of the New Testament facts. This this is part of that big realization. When we were, when I was, because really I gained clarity when, when Cindy's come with me. And so, you know, she has abilities that I, I don't have. And so she's really helped me to see things clearly. When we were pointing out things like the natural uh, things that are happening, 262,000 views. Now, 2.4 thousand views. What happened? We're not going along with one of their paradigms. 
here unintentionally by talking about the pole shift increasing, which, you know, that's the numbers that they gave us. We were unintentionally, I was, going along with the paradigm. It was serving their purpose. And, and now when we have come to the big realization, when I have again, you know, because uh, Cindy has like amazing gifts and she could communicate directly with many different beings. So we've gotten a lot of clarity. And truthfully, five years ago, I was not doing as much um, meditation or I wasn't doing the mantras either as regularly as I am now. So pulling my own vibrations up has has definitely helped in, in seeing things clearly. Even though in retrospect, I have seen all this from 1983, 84. This is when the guide started to show me things. So going all the way back to 83, 84, I knew we would be seeing drones watching our every move. I, I've seen the Big Brother um, scenario. I've seen uh, the WW3, the U.S. invasion that's coming. Uh, and, you know, they've given me a lot of things. But again, you get these flashes and it's hard to decipher. But again, we encourage everybody and anybody to double check us, see how accurate we are. Uh, because we have nothing to hide. You know, again, we would do better financially if we were not making videos. But it's our entire purpose in this life to help others awaken to what's going on. This is the whole reason why we chose to come into this world at this time and to be doing this with you guys. So exact cause of the fires locals are saying not a brush fire this was an urban fire industrial fire again cars homes gas stations exploding exploding you know uh, the weather can be augmented as this this is everything we see is, is electromagnetic it, it's it's part of the life force it's part of the animating principle when you're looking at lightning that is tremendously powerful life force. And yes, too much can just destroy uh, a 3D vehicle per se. And this is why in, in Qigong, which means energy work, and Qigong is thousands of years old practice of cultivating the life force and bringing it into our bodies to boost us in not just a physical way, but in a spiritual way. If it's not done properly, it, it can lead to problems with the physical body. And obviously, if you get struck by lightning, uh, that could lead to death. Definitely. Yeah. So again, it's it's all a case for moderation, so to speak, and doing things progressively. So in case you uh, had missed it, Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega signed a decree that officially allows the entry of Russian armed forces into Nicaragua and construction of military bases with cruise missiles. And of course, who controls the Panama Canal? Well, CCP does. Yeah, so, you know, again, that changing of the guard, and this is what they're banking on because, you know, again, people in the fine dining work country, they, they really don't get to speak up so much. They do, they do. <clears throat> and of course, that's suppressed. Um, and they don't want us knowing how much they are uh, speaking up. But uh, in a totalitarian system, again, refer back to, to the first thing that we played, right? He, he was talking all about a dictatorship. Well, yeah, the stronger the dictatorship, mm -hmm, yeah. Well, you remember this, John Kerry in 2009, five years, we're going to have the first ice-free Arctic summer. Yeah, he's wrong, you know, and again, Al Gore was wrong. <clears throat> they're, these guys are wrong. They're, they're wrong all the time, but it, it doesn't matter to them. They're trying to put a purpose out there and plant those seeds in your mind. By the way, Antarctica plunges to negative 17.8, Earth's lowest temperature since 2017. And yes, there still is ice. Meanwhile, Soros abruptly ends all EU operations as public anger reaches a boiling point. Yeah, as, as the guides have shown us and uh, Cindy was sharing, 
um, they're not going to be out there in the open at all. None of the power structure will, will dare put themselves out there in the open because they're going to be too terrified because too many people will have discovered what's really going on. X is moving forward with a new ID confirmation system which will require users to upload a selfie and a government ID. It's outsourcing the task to an Israeli face recognition company, AU10TIX, who openly advocates for digital IDs. How much do you trust Elon? Not at all, but, but there will be you know, people that do trust Elon, but he's been cultivated as the good guy, as we were saying. Don't, for, don't forget, this, um, this was happening in 2020. Here, this is Ohio, and, and believe me, the people of Ohio... They love their football. They really, really do. And this was a high school football game where a woman was arrested for not putting something over her face. Not only that, she was tasered. And, you know, again, what does the science say? Well, again, you know, it doesn't matter even if you had 99% of the scientists saying something contrary to the official sources that the power structure on the planet recognizes. They'll always go by whatever the power structure on the planet is saying. So even when so many of the scientists have, you know, come around and said, you know what, you know, we were off, we were off, you know, and yet it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So almost all the clouds on Neptune have vanished for the first time in three decades. Are they going to blame that on carbon emissions too? Mm -hmm. Yes, they will whenever they can and whenever they need to. <laughs> whenever they need to make rules, they're going to throw them out there and certain people are going to help enforce them. Um, and that's really not good for the rest of us. And I guess in that sense, that's where we need to work together and understand that there's layers to this power structure it's a little bit like an onion and and the the lower layers of the onion need to work together so that the outer layers of the onion don't have so much control because there are i mean look at it there is so many more of us than them and i do believe at certain points very very soon um they are not these controllers are not going to show themselves in public there is going to be uh like hologram or it's going to be uh you know on circuit tv they'll show themselves there because at that point the veil is completely shredded apart and uh people realize that they have been had to a very high degree and it's all about the control and domination of a very small handful of individuals and we have choices to make we have uh things that we can do right now we need to point our rudders in the right direction at the moment there's a lot going on and it is very stressful and trying to get prepared for everything all at once isn't, um, it's not very easy, you know, but baby steps, baby steps. We'll get there. We'll get there. And Richmond, north of Richmond, artist turns down $8 million from stunned music execs saying nothing special about me. Well, he recognizes, and for those of you that hadn't heard the song, this is him right here. Um, he recognizes there's something so dang wrong with the system. It's just, it's just back ass word. <laughs> it's horrible. He hates the system. And, you know, it was great. It, and why is it great? Because it's heartfelt. Because it's heartfelt. It's so clear. It's so clear. He detests it. And, and again, this is beautiful in that he doesn't want to be contaminated by the system. It, it's, it's so... It is it's such a contaminating uh, thing, and they bank on that. That's where the power comes from. It, it's it's the, the the fact that it does corrupt, it, and it, they one of their primary tools is greed, and they can't understand when somebody's not greedy. They just can't they can't comprehend it because you know this is what all the controllers truly operate on. But this is a way again to point the way out of the system it's through the exact opposite you know random acts of charity and helping each other out showing random acts of love that this this guy is he's living in a 27 foot camper with a tarp on the roof that he got off craigslist for 750 dollars 
He was working for fourteen fifty an hour, third shift, six days a week. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I myself have done those type of things, and you know, this, this is beautiful. He's, he's right there, right at the, at the top, but he's not letting it corrupt him. That is a shining example. It is, it is a good example because you know they do loop you in with, with that incentive that you're going to be very, very comfortable. And really, in this three D world, unless you have plenty of that that uh money energy you're gonna struggle and this guy he's chosen the struggle because he does he wants to stay centered with himself he doesn't want to give himself away he doesn't want to be that which is you know everything that's wrong in the world he's a he's good good person here absolutely so thank you guys for supporting us as we try to wake up as many as possible please do keep sharing the videos as everywhere you can and keep putting out the positive intention and just simply put it out there into the universe that, hey, you know, this isn't the system I want to see. I don't give them my consent uh, and put out your prayers that, you know, this system will be exposed for what it is and the, the earth will be free again. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.